Hey guys, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back guys. So this is your what, um, what the angels want you to know this week or whenever you see this. Um, so let's just get started on this. The first card says judgment. Let go of your fear of being judged. You are good enough. It is time to release all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart. Your true essence and potential have been restricted by structure and method for long enough. There is no right or wrong way. Just be you. I think this is honestly a, power sta a powerful statement this month. Um, just overall in general. I feel like when, when we get hurt on ourselves, when we get hurt, we put these walls up, right? And, and we go through these stages where we feel like we're not good enough. We go through these stages where we feel like, you know, we're never going to find someone who truly, truly gets us. And then out of the blue, you know, when you least expect it, it's like God sends you someone who, who just gets you, you know, and, and you can be yourself with them. And I feel like some of you are in a place right now where you feel like you're not worthy enough of love. You feel like your flaws are scaring people off, guys off, girls off, whatever the case is, that, you know, you're too much. You're too much woman. You're too much man. And I'm here to tell you that you are never too much for the right person. And it took me many, many moons to really realize that. Um, the right person's going to stick with you regardless of your flaws, regardless of how hard you are to be with. Um, that's how you know you found a good one. When you have shown your true self and this person doesn't run. I feel like with judgment coming up as the first card, a lot of you judge yourselves. You judge yourselves for not being perfect, not having perfect teeth or perfect hair or the, you know, the nicest tits or, you know what I mean? Like the nicest body, we, you know, you have stretch marks, whatever the case is, you know, you judge yourself. And I feel like the overall message this week or whenever, honestly, you need to see this is that you are you and you have to be happy with who you are. And if you're not happy, then that's a change you need to make within yourself. Um, you can't be seeking validation from other people in regards to how you're feeling. What I mean, what I mean by that is it's okay to take compliments. It's okay to allow people to express themselves to you. But at the same time, you have to know that you're worthy of you. You have to know that just because you have stretch marks or, you know, you had a child young or, you, you know, you're, you're never married and you're 48, you know, it, it literally doesn't mean that anything's wrong with you. You might just not found that right person who really sees you for you. So instead of judging yourself for not having something that someone else has, it, it's being grateful for exactly where you are today. It's being grateful that, you know what, someone's looking at you right now and wishing that they had what you had. So that's what I'm really getting. And as we go into self-criticism, it says, we, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light. Even if at times you think you are less than perfect, remember that God and divine protection exists in all things. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I, I feel like you're judging yourself too much. I feel like you're you're nitpicking, you're 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 thinking all of the all, all of the the flaws within you that there's literally something wrong with you or that you're not worthy of love or you're not a valuable person to be married or you know like I said it took me many many moons to get to where I'm right now but when you find that one person who sticks stays regardless of what again what you throw at them you start to see things differently you start to realize that you have been living life all the wrong ways like you've been pretty much floating in the back of people and when I say that I feel like when you don't love yourself you teach people how to love you when you don't respect yourself you show people not to respect you and people take that on. Like when people see that you have no confidence in yourself, when people see that you have no self-worth, 
they know that you're an easy target. So they will walk all over you. And, and I guess what I'm saying today is that I want you guys to be able to be stronger. I want you guys to be able to know that you are you and that is enough. The right person will love you for you. Um, you don't have to settle. You don't, we are the prize. Us women, all the women watching me right now, you are the prize. You know, if it wasn't for females, well, there'd be no babies. So we are queens and we need to be setting the standards that show guys how to treat us. And that's, that's, that's how I feel. And I'm wondering how you guys feel about that, but okay. Forgiveness. Holding on to past hurt is preventing you from moving forward and achieving your heart's desires. Let it go. Forgiveness does not mean that you condone another's actions. It simply means that you're no, long, no longer willing to be a perpetual victim to a particular person or event. Blame is a waste of your precious energy. Bless and surrender the past for in doing so you will reclaim the joy of life. Yeah. You know, and just like the card says, when someone does something wrong to you, when someone says something or, you know, attacks your integrity or something, or they just hurt you in general, you have to know that's a reflection on them, not you. That's why it's so important to forgive other people because you, again, you're not forgiving them for them. You're forgiving them for you. You're, you're allowing yourself to detach from that. You're allowing yourself to let go. You're allowing yourself not to take on the burdens and the energy of other people. And that's what you guys need to do. Um, because you have so much potential. You have, you are able to get to where you want to go, but you got to believe in yourself a little more. Okay. So balance. A difference is a necessary part of human evolution, and everything in life is comprised comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists. Because of darkness, we are able to perceive light. Both are necessary. Yeah, but so it's about balance. No? Guys, not every day is going to be rainbows and butterflies. Not every day is going to be shit. But you can wake up wake up every morning and say, I'm going to try my best to stay positive. I'm going to try to best do my best today to work on what I need to work on. I'm going to try my best to, even if all I can get done is the laundry or, you know, homeschool my kids. You know, I'm not going to be my heart on myself because I didn't finish all 50 goals. You know, it, it's even if you... Do a list for the week. You plan your week out, right? And you have a list of 50 things you need, you need to get done this week. Maybe you only get three of that, that 50 off. Maybe you get three things done, four things done a day. I don't know if that even adds up. Whatever, just stay with me. You can't be too hard on yourself. You can't set those, those goals to say, I'm going to get all these 50 done in one day. Because life happens things happen that are out of our out of our control and the more you stress about the things that you can't accomplish the more you guys are going to bury yourself so it's about picking three things from that list and say you know what how can i balance my week out so that i'm not doing too much in one day because it's about preparation it's about planning right positive change Dare to be different. When you're criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their lifetime. Yet it's often they who have sown the seeds of change. So there's positive changes ahead. Which is what I've been saying for a couple months now. There's amazing things coming, but you guys have to allow that door of opportunity to open. And you have to know, again, at the end of the day, that you're worthy of this change. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of happy or of being happy. You know, you are not defined by your past. You are not defined by what someone has said about you. You're not defined by your weight. You're not defined by your looks. You're not defined by your stretch marks. You know, God made us all who we are. And we have to start embracing ourselves for what we are. Even if that's not what society wants. It, it shouldn't matter what society wants. It, it needs to be... What do you need and what do you want and what's going to make you happy at the end of the day? Okay.
So we have belief. Be open to all possibilities and opportunities. Let go of preconceived ideas. There's nothing to fear. You are constantly surrounded by love. Start to believe in yourself and trust your instincts. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound. Provided you are flexible and retain an open heart and mind. Believe all is possible. You gotta believe at the end of the day. If you don't believe in you, if you don't believe in your dreams, then how do you expect anyone else to? You have to set the tone for how people treat you. You have to set that mile marker. You have to be the one that changes. Okay? Creativity. We are angels, messengers, are here to help you unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feelings and emotions. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is well. All, all is valid, sorry. But your inner self, your inner child wants to come out so bad. You need to bring more fun into your life. If you've been serious lately, th there's a time to be serious and there's a time to say, you know what? I'm going to kick my feet up. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this glass of wine, this movie. I'm going to go out and hang out with my friends and, you know, just, just have fun. You know, do something that you normally wouldn't do. Oh, I feel like I have to sneeze. Oh. Okay. Inspiration. A wave of inspiration and a steam of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. It's important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. So you're about to be inspired. Something is coming in and it's going to inspire you, whether that's something you see, whether that's a, another person, but someone or something is going to inspire you to want to do better. It's going to inspire you to keep moving forward. We also have blessings, love, light, blessings through this card. You are being showered with energetic light, accept the blessings, <coughs> excuse me, about to come your way and know that you deserve to be and have all of your heart's desires. You're being lovingly guided along a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover your true essence, the infinite and external you. Congratulations. Okay. We have rainbow. You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine externally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold awaits beyond the horizons. All will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are externally blessed. Wow. Wow. This beautiful message today. Okay, guardian angel, trust. All unfolds in perfect timing. You are one with divine will. Focus only on love and all of your true desires will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, your guardian angels, are watching over you. Wow. What a beautiful message to end this reading. I hope this really helps you guys. I really hope you guys were able to get something from this because I really feel like on a positive note, you have to love yourself. You have to see yourself as worthy. You have to see yourself as being loved and being wanted and being needed. And just know that we all have a purpose to be here. We all are here to serve some area of our life. We are all here to, you know, let's all come together. Let's all share love. Let's all be there for one another. Let's all guide each other to where we need to go. Let's stop the hate, you know? And that hate is also you guys really stopping that hate within you. You know, stop hating on yourself for those stretch marks. Stop hating on yourself for, you know, not looking like the models or, you know, eating a bag of chips or a thing of ice cream, whatever the case is. Like, stop being so hard on yourself because there's just more to life than that, okay? So, hopefully this helps you guys. You guys have yourself a fantastic day and I will talk to you guys soon.